one of the things that's important, you, you don't have to be a trailblazer and light the whole world on fire through all of your actions. How about you just focus on being able to stand? You don't need to find all the fights to fight. You start standing on God, standing on the Bible, the fights will come to you. Don't worry about it. If you're, if you're just humbly trying to serve the Lord, the fights will come. They will come. You just prepare yourself, prepare your defenses, get your armor built up to continue to stand. Stand for what's right. Stand for the truth. And in our modern culture, you know, people who do believe the right thing, people who are against this filthy wickedness and vile affections that are going on that are being promoted in the world today, they don't, they're not wearing their armor. Because nowadays, too many people are more concerned about their financial well-being if they actually stand on the word because they don't have the faith that God will take care of them. So they think that, oh, I better not say anything because I'll get canceled. I better not say anything. I might lose my job. I better not say anything about this wickedness that's abounding. I better not say anything because then people could get mad at me. I better not say anything or else the alphabet animals are going to come after me and they're going to target me and they're going to cause my, make my life miserable. And the more people don't stand, they stand down, you're opening up the door for all the vile wickedness that's coming into our country and destroying it. Because you're unwilling to stand. Because you haven't been keeping up on listening to God. You haven't been in the word. You didn't gird up the truth on your loins. It's sitting in your closet. You got the truth. You know what it says. You're not wearing it. You're not doing anything with it. You've hung it out to dry. And you've stood down. Your armor needs to be on you at all times. We need to stand. Resistance. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yep, it is. Welcome to the Christian life. Yeah, the Christian Christ life. Hey, do you think Jesus Christ's life was comfortable? Did Jesus live this life on earth to be comfortable? To sit in an air-conditioned house? Watch TV. Eat nice food. Did Jesus do that? No. Then why do you think that your life should just be comfortable all the time? He had no home. He walked out. He stayed up all night praying. He walked out. He healed people. He was helping people. He suffered. He was lied about. People hated him. They mocked him. They ridiculed him. They beat him up. They spit in his face, and they nailed him to a cross. You want to call yourself a Christian? How about you stand? How about you stand for what he stood for unto death? You're going to call him your Savior? Why don't you try walking in his footsteps too? Call yourself a Christian. doesn't even take very many to make that stand but people need to make the stand oh I don't want to deal with that coward shame shameful Christian Would to God we had people at the heart of the disciples that said we ought to obey God rather than man. I'm not going to fear what man could do unto me. I'm going to fear what God could do unto me. 